Okay, so I have similar triangles, but they're not congruent. Okay, so if you look at this top one, they have all the same angles, but they have different side lengths. So clearly they are similar, but they're not exactly the same. So um, I can use this smaller one to tell me what the lengths are of these bigger ones here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare this base to this base because there's the right angle, right? And those are the legs are the same. And I'm gonna go eight meters divided by four meters and that's gonna equal two. These cancel each other. So what I'm saying is, is that this triangle over here is two times bigger than that triangle over there. So I should be able to just multiply, that's 10 meters and now this is six meters. But what if I'm given the area and not um, anything else except for one length? So the formula for area, remember, is area equals the base, which is 40 on the bigger one, um, times the height, and then divided by two. So going backwards through bed mass, because I want to isolate that H, I am going to multiply both sides by two. So this is 400 now. centimeters squared, and this is 40 meters times h, and now I'm going to divide both sides by 40. I put centimeters here, um, and then I'm going to come up with, well, 40, this is going to be 10 meters, and that's going to be the height, right? So that's what we were isolating and looking for. So I know this is 10 meters. Now, how does this help me find this side length here? Well, if I look at 40 and eight, 40 divided by eight equals five. So um, I should be able to use the scale of five to find this side length. So I take the 10 and divide it by five, and this would be two meters. And now I can use this to find the area of that triangle, because I have eight meters times two meters, um, divided by two, and that's gonna be eight meters squared. And so the area, of this triangle is gonna be eight meters squared.